Hey guys, it's Alex over at Laser Everything, and Jimmy really wanted me to do an intro for this video, and I told him no, but he wanted it done, so I'm trying to do it. Also, for some reason, he keeps calling me Fred and trying to pet me. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Anyway, here's Jimmy with a great new episode of Laser Everything for you. Hi everybody, this is Jimmy from Laser Everything. In this video, I'd like to show you how I made my first Christmas decoration ornament out of balsa and how I modified it and turned it into a more NFL themed. If you find this content interesting, please stick around and let's have a few laughs. So while making these projects, I found out a few things about myself. I am not a painter. I am not a sander. I am not a somebody's gonna glue things together. I am not a stainer. And I'm not a urethane guy. And above all else, the dreaded five to eight hour waiting period for the glue and paint to dry. Not gonna happen. It's not me. I only made two ornaments. And man, let me tell you what, I can make a mess as you can see. Okay, so if you're still watching so far, that means you're interested and you're ready for a laugh because we're going to be doing this the Jimmy way. Let's get ready to burn and learn. Okay, everybody, here we go. Let's get to it. First of all, I'd like to show you the file for Fred the Reindeer. I love Fred. Here is a site called Scroll Saw Workshop. It's a pretty cool website. All the patterns are free. So here is what he looks like put together. And here's one of the files. Here's the second file. You download that and... That's pretty much that with that. The next one I'd like to show you real fast is this site. It's called Big Blue Laser Designs. This is where I found a lot of the Christmas ornaments. And yeah, you have to pay for them, but they are pretty cool. So I just wanted to mention that real fast. So the next step I needed to do was I needed a football helmet. I went on Google and I found a football helmet facing front. And this is what I found. It's not that great. It looks better than what it really is. It's really not a good file. I wouldn't attempt to even try to fix this. So what I do is I send this out to my designer. Her name is Joy. Once I got the file back from Joy, this is what it looked like. This is what she gave me back and that's just awesome. So I wanted to get rid of all this black. So all I basically did is grab my eraser tool and illustrator and just started erasing. It's tedious. I didn't want to waste your time watching me do it all. So I just did it. And this is how it turned out, which is exactly the way that I wanted it. So once I got the helmet, I brought it in the light burn. And here is what the files look like. Now there is a difference. This is the part of the main file. This is part of the main file. This is a part of the main file. This, the arms, the feet, the mouth, and the eyes and the nose. What I did was I took the helmet, I brought it in a light burn, and I ungrouped everything. So once I ungrouped it, I took the mask part of the helmet and pulled it aside. Now that gave me just the mask and the outline of the helmet. The next step, I could actually eliminate this whole piece right here. I did not need it. What I actually did was took the mask and I got rid of the inside outline on everything. So what you see now would be this right here. This took the place of this guy. So once I did that, I grabbed the mouth and put the mouth in here. So this mouth would be cut out. What happens is now I can paint this helmet white or whatever color I wanted the reindeer's brown so I had to make this brown so that way there was a contrast between his face and the helmet so once I did that then I took this and I painted this white and then I could put it over the top of it so this is one piece this is one piece and this is another piece as layers then of course you add your eyes then you add your nose I like to know I did not do this on my own I had a little help or uh, here it was two o'clock in the morning and oh my god well let me see who's on and lo and behold who was on our very own Kyle from laser everything so I reached out to Kyle I said Kyle can you help me out with this for some reason what happened was when I brought the file in these parts weren't connected here I couldn't figure out how to do it in light burn I'm still learning the nodes and everything so Kyle came in helped me out bang boom got it all done so big shout out to Kyle thank you brother you're a saver man so with that said what you do is you get your files all together and you move them up to the corner so you can use the least amount of your material and you send it off to the laser I started thinking of ideas to where I can eliminate a part of the process here's what I did 
I took my balsa wood, I primered it, light coat of primer. Primer doesn't take long to dry. I think about what pieces and parts I'm gonna need for the next day. I primered it, I painted the colors that I need it, I set it down, and I turn the lights off and I go to bed. In the morning when I come out, I have painted wood already. It's ready to go. You just put it in the machine and start lasering them. Pretty cool idea, huh? The next part, the dreaded gluing part. I used Elmer's clear glue to actually glue the parts together. Then I'll take Starbond medium super glue and I'll just put a little dab on two or three corners of each piece and that sets like in like 30 seconds. It's fast. This way I can continue moving on and putting more parts on with my fat fingers. I needed to figure out how I could actually cut this without burning the paint and I didn't really know where to start. With my 100 watt ohm tech, I used 35 speed and 70 power you can drop this down a little bit, but I just left it at 70 with a 1.5 lens because I wanted to get the finest dot I could to try to eliminate some of the burning if there was going to be any burning at all. And it turned out great. There's no burning whatsoever on the wood after you burn it at those speeds and feeds. So I hope you guys are still here and you enjoyed watching this video. If not, you had a good laugh. I also like to give a big shout out to Joseph Culberson. He's a great guy. I met him on the LMA, and uh, he's from way down in South Carolina, and uh, he's taught me a lot of things about light burn, and we share ideas back and forth. So a big shout-out to Joseph, and uh, oh, my God, here we fucking go. As always, if you got value out of this video, please smash the like button. Let me pull this fucking closer so I can see it without looking down so goddamn far. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified the next time you get a cool video from Jimmy on Laser Everything. Does that sound right? Check out our Discord and Facebook groups link in the description. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna pull an Alex. Ready? Here it comes, wait for it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I hate that part. God damn.